We've already seen that the structure of amino acids involves both an amine and a carboxyl group. We've learned previously that amines can act as bases and carboxyl groups, carboxylic acid groups especially, can act as acids. Therefore, amino acids can exist in either acidic or basic form depending on the solution pH in which they're dissolved. In addition, seven amino acids also have an ionizable side chain, such as an extra amine or an extra carboxyl group. We can see that there's an equilibrium between an acidic form of an amino acid in which the carboxylate group has its proton and the amine group has three protons and a positive charge. This acidic form is a cation. This will be in equilibrium with a form of the amino acid that has a negative charge on the carb carboxylate because it has lost a proton, yet the amine group still has a positive charge. This is an interesting kind of structure because it's an ion that has both a positive and a negative charge. These kinds of structures are called Zwitter ions from the German zwei or zwitte, meaning a hybrid ion, because it's a combination of both a positive and a negative ion. This zwitte ion form will be in equilibrium with the basic form of an amino acid. In the basic form, the carboxylate group is still unprotonated and has a negative charge, but now the amine group is just a neutral NH2. So overall, the basic form will be an anion. A particular group on the amino acid, whether it's the carboxylate or the amine group, will be protonated if the solution pH is more acidic or a lower pH value than the pKa for the group of interest. Another interesting thing to note is that all three forms of amino acids are charged. In other words, amino acids act much like ionic compounds more than they do molecular compounds. Let's look at an example using the amino acid serine. The alpha carboxylate group has a pKa of 2.21 and the alpha amino group, the protonated form, has a pKa of 9.15. What form of serine would we have if we had it in a solution of each of the following pH values. For example, in question A, what form of serine would we have in a solution of pH of 7.4? The second example asks what form of serine we would have in a solution of pH 10.4. To answer the first one, we see that the solution pH 7.4 is greater than the pKa of the carboxylate group 2.21, but it's less than the pKa of the amide gr amine group 9.15. Since we know that a group will be protonated if the solution pH is lower than the pKa for the group, that means that the amine group will be in its protonated form NH3+, because the solution pH of 7.4 is lower than the pKa of 9.15. On the other hand, the carboxylate group will be unprotonated or be in its negatively charged form because its pKa of 2.21 is more acidic than the solution pH of 7.4. You should now pause the video and see if you could identify the form of serine in a solution that is pH 10.4. Once you have an answer, you can restart the video and see if you got the correct form. Since the solution has a pH of 10.4, this is a higher pH value or more basic than the pKa for both groups, the amine group and the carboxylate group. That means that both groups will be unprotonated. So the carboxylate group will be CO2 minus and the amine group will be unprotonated. It'll be the neutral NH2 form. So overall, in a solution of pH 10.4, serine will be in its basic or anion form.